We'll be I wasn't even angry. Um, we do not have our clerk tonight, so I will call the roll to, to adjourn. No. <laughs> we'll call the roll, and we will do the Pledge of Allegiance, and then we will need to appoint Administrator Huber as the clerk of the works for tonight. So just so you know what's going on. So I'll call the roll. Trustee Gust? Here. Trustee Miller? Here. Trustee Jensen? Present. Trustee Buells? Here. Trustee Siddick? Here. Trustee Addison? Here. Attorney Jim? Here. Mayor John? Here. All right, we're here. Let's do the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> All right. Do we have a motion to appoint Administrator Huber as our clerk for the evening? So move. Second. Yep. Motion by Trustee Jensen. Second by Trustee Miller. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just thinking about something else for a moment. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know if I want Trustee to know. Miller. I don't know. Um, uh, all, of, all in favor? Yep. Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> all right. Uh, the mantle has been passed. And we will move on. Um, first up is public comment on agenda items. This would be the opportunity for public to address the board on any agenda items. There is a second opportunity um, later in the agenda for any and all comers. We have one resident here. Um, will, you, will you be addressing us uh, yes. later on? Yes. No, okay, will do. Thank you. Um, then moving on to our consent agenda, we have uh, four items on the consent agenda approval uh, of the village board regular meeting minutes for April 28th, 2022, uh, approval of village special meeting minutes uh, February 17th, 2022, and March 7th, 2022. Bills presented for payment in the amount of $248,829.88. And the community development report for April of 2022. Is there anything that the board would have us consider separately? There being none, do we have a motion? Hello. Oh, sorry. Um, in the. Um... Is this going to be a correction to the minutes? Yes. Okay, hold on. Let's get the motion in the second, then we'll do the correction. Second. Second. Motion by Gus, second by Miller. <laughs> I'll get this eventually. It's been, what, two weeks? I'm out of practice. Um, discussion. Yes. Um, <clears throat> Administrator Huber indicated that if we wanted to make some changes or corrections to the minutes from the priority sessions. Okay. I just wanted to um, make a, few, a couple of comments if I could. Okay. Um, one on the community development, the one-year priorities. I know one of our ongoing uh, concerns has been the continued and improved enhancement of code enforcement efforts and initiatives. Um, that's the only one that's I kind of echoed by all. I just wonder if we can make sure that that's included in that. Um, so this would be in addition to the one-year priorities that are listed? Yes. Okay, so it's not, it's not that it's something that is wrong. It's something that you're wishing to add, and that would be... It's actually been one of our ongoing for years. I'm just... Uh, it, okay, sure it gets... and that was going to be my question. It was that... Um, is that something that's covered by our um, uh, core vision, um, or is it something that we would need to add separately? So uh, could you restate the wording that you use there? Um, we want to make sure we can continue... Continue to improve and enhance code enforcement efforts and initiatives. Okay. Um, did we have any uh, other discussion on that um, amendment to the one-year community development priorities? Anyone have any? Okay. We will... Um, I did have one other. Yep. Yeah, I was going to just, for, to, for that one, as long as there's no objections, then we'll consider that uh, added and we'll amend the motions appropriately. What was the second one? Um, updating zoning codes and make them more user-friendly. We also um, had indicated we're going to be updating our building codes. That was indicated <clears throat> during our session. That's a definite thing that we... 
So you would be adding building and zoning up, codes? Up, yeah, updating building codes. It said zoning code, but they didn't include the building codes. So if we were to say up to update zoning and building codes, that would cover your fine. concern? Yes. Okay. Was there anything further? Uh, under economic development, uh, one year prior, <coughs> we've got the cleanup of Sheridan Road. Um, I'd like to add, and commercial corridors in general. Is this, uh, um, and I'm, I'm opening the floor to other board comment if, I'm taking silence as consent, so I'm, I, I don't want to rehash the entire um, priority session, but um, are, are we in agreement that this is something that was intended and not memorialized, or are we? I think it was intended. I mean, the, approving the minutes is just memorializing what we discussed at the meeting. If this is yeah. an addition to the, that, we should maybe ad amend or, or have a follow-up meeting or discussion on it. But this is just, if it's not something that we discussed and it's an idea and they're good ideas, if there's something we want to get in the list, then let's direct the staff to get them onto their list, but not necessarily adjust the minutes to something we didn't Discuss. Where do we stand with the with that. work product from the priority session? Yeah, um, Mr. Mayor, I'm uh, bored. I didn't bring that information down, so I think that that's <clears throat> probably uh, the best way. It's on my desk. We're, you know, I'm trying to sort through all that. Uh, we all went through this and checked that those were the aspects that we had recorded. Right. So, um, you know, we all looked at the minutes and. I don't have that with me, so one option may be just to pull these uh, this approval, and we can go back and look at our notes, mm -hmm. and then this is what was recorded, this is what we had recorded, and then we'll let you know either way, and then you can right. you decide from well, there on whether I, you want to add, add as a priority. I guess there, that's why I was asking where we are with regard to the the priority session report, the the final product. Are we... Is it? This is the start of that. Okay, for so sure. We're, this is what you're working. This from. is the record we had of you. what came out of the meeting, right? At this point, I right. still think it's appropriate to approve the minutes if that's what we discuss. But if we want to if add this, something to the list, then that's kind of why I'm asking: Is this something that uh, you know we have one trustee that's <clears throat> recalling that these things were discussed, and and I have. You know, I, admirable, non-admirable, that's really not the point. Is this an accurate record of what we discussed, or is this um, need to be amended to reflect that? I, and we discussed a lot of stuff, so I'm not going to pretend like I recall every word or every... Um, Mr. Uh, Mayor? Yeah. The only reason I mentioned it in the comments from um, Administrator Hugh, we indicated as we go along tonight, we can make changes, make changes to the statement that the board desires, that's the only reason I brought it up. And I'm sorry, you're referring to that where? In the, in the statement prior to getting into the um, priority, priority session issues. It's in the draft. In the draft on what page? Page one. Page one. And, um, well, that's the minutes, though. And, and that's... The, the minutes should reflect what you did discuss. And, and that's, why, that's why I'm struggling with this. I, I, I don't want to rewrite the priorities session minutes uh, tonight, if, but if there's a substantial um, absence or omission or inclusion, uh, this would be like any other set of minutes that we would approve. Um, and I, I just want to be careful that we're not trying to reflect something that didn't happen um, or that was you know, it's it's people hear what they hear, write down what they write down, and and I just don't know. I don't want to necessarily, um, um, you know, at, we did discuss updating zoning and building codes. I that I remember, um, uh, and and so I, I guess how many more <laughs> changes did you have to just, just one other? Uh, and what was that one? That was under economic development three year priority. It says. Encourage existing business improvements by highlighting ex existing businesses. And I was uh, assuming that, that we would be encouraging existing business improvements by including highlighting 
including as opposed to by highlighting. That's all. That's all I have. Okay, so encouraging existing business improvements by highlighting existing businesses. That, I, that is a, um, <clears throat> an unusual wording. Um, so I, you're I thought maybe including, including highlighting. Okay. Um, Mayor, Mayor, because this is a yeah. consent agenda, I, yeah. I would suggest perhaps the, the maker of the original motion amend the motion to approve items A, C, and D, yeah. and then handle item B separately. That's kind of where I was going to go. We're halfway into the discussion, at least, because we're going to have to amend something at some point or pull it and rewrite it and come back <coughs> for another approval. Yeah, maybe pull, maybe pull yeah. that one and approve the other three. Yeah. And um, discuss. And um, these minutes are um, the clerk's minutes, or no, these minutes are staff's minutes. Yes, from from the your the combined, priority session, you combined yeah. notes that were taken. Yes, and okay, all right. Um, yeah, from uh, <coughs> our well, clerk that thank you. Yeah. Would you like me to make a motion to pull item B out of the consent agenda? I think that makes sense and consider it yeah, the end of the I, agenda. I, I think that um, we're going to have to pull item B, or more specifically, we could pull the March 7th, uh, or the February 17th minutes. Are, we're not changing the March 7th minutes, or were there corrections for those as well? Uh, no, that was that okay. was great setup. All right, so... Um, <coughs> At least to get off the original, the original motion was by whom? Oh, I'm sorry. That's me, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Trustee Gus. <laughs> Trustee Gus. And Trustee Miller second. Would you amend your motion to remove the approval of the fe February 17th minutes? Second. And seconder will, so we will, uh, the motion in front of us for the consent agenda will be for all listed except for the February 17th. Uh, special minutes. Um, are there any other discussion outside of the ongoing one? I had just one question uh, <laughs> regarding the community development, <clears throat> which is apparent that we're, we're now working on that. Is that correct? The, we're working on, on the other, the, the consent agenda minus. Yeah, okay. AC minus, minus February 17th. Oh, minus oh, February 17th. I'm, I'm, I'm in order to ask you a question. Yes, about that. yes, absolutely. Okay, you're, giving me, you're looking at me. No, no, I'm just trying to make sure we're. I'm trying to, so you're the community development report. Yes, sir. Question. That yes. is correct. Mm -hmm. And the question was there's, there's a, a, a comment on the first page regarding zoning certificate process, and I'm going to demonstrate my ignorance there. Uh, does that apply to, to all property? Uh, changes of ownership or commercial only or or, or these these new policies of yours? The certificate process applies to one and two family houses. That's right. Uh, the certificate process, the zoning certificate, is for one and two families uh, prior to the sale. Ah, so any any house sale, all these, it, it mentioned utility. Uh, oh, uh, <coughs> improved record keeping related to utility connections. Are you, sewer, are you referring to sewer and water then? Yes. Ah, okay. Got it. And that was my only question. And then a, a comment. I see that I'm pleased to see that you you did the math for me, calculating the, the ratio of of permits to uh, to improvements. I appreciate that. That's all I have, Mayor. Okay. All right. Any other discussion on the consent agenda? All right. Uh, would the clerk please call the roll? <coughs> oh, so, <yeah. laughs> that's you, <laughs> <laughs> Trustee Jensen. Aye. Trustee Wells. Aye. Trustee Siddick? Aye. Trustee Otterson? Aye. Trustee Gus? Aye. And Trustee Miller? Aye. And Mayor Hooker, you care to vote? Uh, you don't I, have to. You're, I, uh, <laughs> normally you don't. Aye, aye, aye. You know? All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Motion carries. Um, all right. So um, we have two paths that we could take on the February 17th um, um, uh, minutes. One would be. Um, to consider the uh, amendments to the minutes being proposed. The other would be for um, the board. Uh, my, my recollection of our process in the past is there would be a, uh, a report um, summarizing our, our endeavors there. 
and that we would have a chance to look at that prior to approval. Yes, that would that would be normal. We would normally adopt or, or at least yeah. by reference. And we um, still have the goals and objectives to yeah. the, the broader one to get um, for the board. So, and we're not memorializing uh, our core values in the minutes. So I, my concern is that some of these may be uh, under that broader category of the core values, um, and I, I, we could we could either try to to um, correct minutes and make sure that board is the board is. You know, this is this, this is the hard thing about uh, uh, changes to minutes. It's the uh, um, we're going back in time. A we're recalling things. B and good, bad, and different really isn't necessarily the question. It's did it happen or didn't it? Mm -hmm. And that's a that's a tricky thing. Now, if we come to s reviewing. Our, our core values and priorities and say there's a there's a missing word we're not dealing with building code updates or and, and that's a simple one because we see it here um, and it should be there um, but we're, we're missing three key items here and we need to memorialize them or do we dive into the minutes here make sure everybody's in agreement and then amend them as according it's I'm kind of willing to go either way. <coughs> if I might, Mayor, I think that, that the former is probably the better way to do it, and that would be to to have the work product del delivered to the board in a draft format, give us an opportunity to comment on it, yep. and and offer suggestions of things that might that might have come up in the interim that we may not have thought of, and then polish that off because that's independent of the of the minutes from the meeting. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Board, good with that. Mm -hmm. All right, so at this point, we will come back to approval of these minutes um, as presented. Um, it's, a, it's a healthy discussion to have, and it's a, something that um, um, doesn't come up often, so I'm, I'm glad we had the exercise tonight. Um, do we have a motion to approve the February 17th Special Village Board meeting minutes? So moved. Motion by Trustee Miller, second by Trustee Gust. Discussion? More to come. Roll call, please. Trustee Gust. Aye. Trustee Miller. Aye. Trustee Jensen. Aye. Trustee Wells. Aye. Trustee Siddig. Aye. Trustee Otterson. Aye. Mayor Hucker. Aye. All right. Motion carries. Um, moving on to Mayor's report. Uh, a bit of sad news. Um, we got word that Ann Last passed away, uh, Paul's wife. Um, They've been a staple here in the village as long as we've been a village and much before. Um, um, Paul was one of the um, voices of the incorporation effect, uh, effort for uh, Beach Park uh, back in 1987, I think is probably when I first met them, and was routinely with him um, at the meetings, uh, at the fundraisers, at the goofy things that we had to do to get this to be a village. <laughs> Um, and uh, as seen from their attendance here at our board meetings, um, they care deeply about the village. And um, my heart goes out to Paul. Um, he's in rough shape. Um, I don't think he's able to drive anymore. Um, and was his, uh, um, his mobility, I guess, is how I'd put it. But she struggled here recently as well. So... Um, sad to see uh, <clears throat> one of our uh, longtime friends uh, pass, and uh, my understanding is that Tuesday night, it, it, Tuesday, Tuesday four to six, Tuesday four to six at Congress, at Congress. and then they're going to have followed a by dinner at N and T supper afterwards. Yeah, the um, the basil fried rice is very good. <laughs> well, I can tell you that when Carrie and I would go to N and T's and have supper. Routinely, we would see Paul and Ann there, so um, that was one of their favorite places. So it's fitting. So I just wanted to, to say a few uh, words, um, uh, and I intend to reach out to Paul and see how he's doing. They're, they've been living out in Caroline since uh, their house was removed. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I just thought that uh, would be good for for us to remember. Um, move into trustee reports. Uh, first up, we have Trustee Jensen. 
Thank Finance you, Mayor. Committee. Yep. I do have one item on the agenda tonight, um, and uh, I would like to <coughs> offer um, a motion to establish an ordinance amending Chapter 3.10 of Title Three of the Village of Beach Park, Illinois, Village Code modifying the annual fee schedule. Um, th this year, the uh, the fee schedule has relatively few changes, um, just a small handful of changes, two of which I, I plan to object to. But uh, that is a motion to uh, to approve the fee schedule. Second by sitting. All right, we have a motion for Trustee Jensen, second for Trustee Sittick. Discussion? Yeah, there, there are two items that, that I, I take some issue with and it, it's relatively minor. Um, the first of which appears on page 31 of 41, and that is uh, the uh, business regulations. We've established, uh, and, and I think that it's appropriate what they've done here is to establish uh, various classes and adjust the classes of businesses and the associated fees uh, to make them more reasonable. And fees, in, in my mind, in my way of thinking, are, are not taxes. They're fees for a service rendered of some sort, some sort of service the village provides. Um, and so the class one gives me some trouble. Uh, home business office functions with uh, office functions only, no stock, no visitors. And we're charging 25 bucks. It's, 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 it's negligible. It's more the principal thing. I don't know what services we're, we're providing for that $25 other than recording the $25 receipt. So that, that's, that's the first one. And the second one is on the next page, uh, we've increased tenfold the video gaming license uh, fee. Now, prior to prior to this year, we were only permitted to charge twenty-five dollars. We are now proposing to go to two hundred and fifty. And again, the question that I have to ask is one of equity. Is to use one of the current buzzwords: um, are, is, are we providing ten times the service, or were we not? Are we, are we, is this an appropriate fee for the services that we're providing? I don't know what uh, what services we're actually providing, apart uh, over and above the business license. And the inspections and all that that we do. Um, if there is, then it's appropriate. But if there's not, I'd, I'd uh, recommend keeping that at 25. I'd recommend eliminating the $25 Class One license. Those are my two objections to this to this fee schedule. Uh, any further discussion? <clears throat> well, maybe um, staff could, you know, tell us what you do for the $25 for the home business. That, that particular fee is actually half of what it was um, previously. Uh, the service that we provide is essentially uh, documentation. Um, I'd say the service uh, to the general public is documentation to make sure that that particular uh, business doesn't change. Um, but uh, it's just tracking which type of business is where. Um, uh, but, but basically, it's a documentation. It's a, it's a smaller fee. Uh, than all the rest of them for that reason. We, we acknowledge that we're not inspecting them. We don't have the fire department come out. Uh, our building inspectors don't go out. Um, but you're so maintaining records. Maintaining a record. Yep. Do you have an example of the sort of businesses that would fall under this? And we discussed this earlier, and, you know, working from home, as I did and many of us did during COVID, would that fall under it? What, what exactly, uh, you know, obviously not, for instance, I've seen ads for a new dog grooming business in town. Now, that has visitors, so that would be one of the other classifications. That would be one of the other classifications. Yeah. So uh, two, I think, class two. Um, the, uh, the types of businesses, they run the range. I mean, they're uh, basically the office support functions for a wide variety of businesses. I've got... So if someone does, for instance, dictation for medical uh, office at, in their home, we'd charge them 25 bucks to do that. If they were running, if they were running the business from the house, if they were working from home on occasion, no. A uh, contractor's office uh, for um, uh, a small contractor, uh, where he operates from his home, but keeps his trucks and his inventory at another location, um, would be another example. Of well, I had a neighbor that was day trading. Would that, you know, I, no, it, uh, I, I, unless it's it's not a business. I mean, that's part of what we're talking about, is right. this is a business that's being run from the home as opposed to somebody that's, you know, if they, if they had a business called Day Traders, Inc., and they were running it from the home, then, you know. Yeah. And, and the, the, the connotation of the business in, implies some type of structure, an LLC, uh, sole proprietorship, a uh, corporation. It would be a business entity, not – so it's going to be registered – with the state, most likely they're paying taxes, um, and that's their base of operations. 
I have a home business uh, in the sense that, um, uh, or I will have a home business in the sense that we would have uh, uh, parking on site, but that would be not a home occupation. It would be based on my home, but it, would, you know, it involves visitors, it involves you know, things like that. So the contractor, um, uh, where he's taking his equipment and, and that would be a good example. I think a business that's sales oriented um, or a uh, internet based, there's a lot of people running internet based businesses out of their homes, uh, would be probably another example. Um, well, again, but the, but the, 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 the specific says no stock, so you wouldn't be. It wouldn't be handling, wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't be handling uh, products. But there's products. a lot of internet businesses that. You never touch it, yeah, yeah. But they've got to have a, they've got to have a registered address with the state, you know, their tax IDs, things like mm -hmm. that. And this is just one of those. Right. Um, but I understand, you know, I, I feel there's, uh, we're not wrong for tracking the businesses. The question of the fee is, is valid. I just, you were asking. Okay, that yeah. It, it, uh, yeah, I, I, I stand, I stand behind. I, I don't see the benefit to the community to do that. I don't see the benefit of charging the fee or even tracking if, you know, if, if our attorney were to, to work out of his house and instead of his high rise, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Sears Tower office. You're, you're the, wrong, uh, the wrong attorney. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. That's <laughs> that it, it, as long as he had no clients visiting there, it was yeah. all you know, um, telephone or whatever, mail. Yeah. Um, when we talked about this at the last meeting, we looked at the definition of home occupation, and I don't have it in front of me, but I recall it was where the home occupation is accessory to the use of the home as a residence. Um, that suggests much more than working at home on Mondays and Fridays. It suggests to me that you, you might invoice from that address. Your business address is your home address. Sure. You know, th those types of things. So I, I don't think it, it was ever intended to reach to somebody who is working at home uh, instead of going to the office. Well, or, or and, but they, they may well incorporate. For instance, a fellow that works for me lives in Beach Park. And he's an FFL, mm -hmm. so he does that as a side job out of his, yep. and he's also traveling. He does this guy's an operator, yeah. but he's, he's got his, he has an LLC or whatever, and he's incorporated as as a travel agent, as an FFL, and probably two or three other things that you know that lose money in every other year or whatever. Yeah. So the, we'd probably be tracking those businesses as well. Yeah. And would you like to share his address with Andrew? <laughs> charge him two twenty-five. On the way. You, you could probably charge him three twenty-five dollar uh, fees. You're losing your own argument. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but talk, it doesn't impact the neighbors at all. I, I, that's <clears throat> okay. That do we have? I've said other, my piece. Any other discussion on? Yeah, I, I just want to voice my opinion about the gaming fee. I think it's warranted. I think that the extra revenue that the village would gain is something that could go into the general fund and be used for uh, public safety measures that are, to my knowledge, part of video gaming establishments. And I, I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. I think that's a win-win for us. I that's agree. the most expensive contract we have is that police protection. No offense. Yeah. <laughs> We're glad you. We're glad felt, to have you. <laughs> I will say, home rule communities have had this um, ability to charge the higher fees since the beginning, and non-home rule communities only recently uh, were allowed to raise it above the twenty-five. It was a statutory limit. I, I dare say, back when video gaming first came on board, I would have been the one saying, "Yeah." I'll vote for it for $250 a year for, per machine. Instead, I just said I'd vote for it because I felt sorry for the people that are no longer in business after they got the video gaming, which I still don't understand. How well, and, and we're now netting somewhere in the city, Peggy, tell me if I'm wrong, of 60 grand mm -hmm. annually. Yeah. So it's not like we're not uh, receiving, right. uh, realizing revenue from these. Um, and and uh, my esteemed uh, colleagues' arguments notwithstanding, I see that as a tax, not not as a fee for service. So, again, it's a philosophical. Yep. Uh, it, it's yep. it's you don't charge it just because you can. You charge it if you, because you need to, because there's a there's a reason for it. Stickers have gotten quite expensive, and I would argue that the cost of the sticker has probably gone up. And I feel if it was two fifty by statute, we would have approved it then, and now it is by statute, and I'm fine with raising it. Okay. Any other discussion? All right. Um, 
There's been no amendments to motions or anything else, so I guess we'll just go ahead and call the roll. Oh, wait a minute. I made the initial motion. Can I amend it then? Well, you've got to get a second still. Well, th that's, I'll try that. <laughs> I'll, I'll amend my motion to, sh to uh, hold the video gaming at uh, 25 and strike the Class 1 um, $25 license. We have an amend um, amended motion. Do we have an amended second? Who was the seconder? I was. And we got, I'm not hearing any amendments. That fails for lack of a second. We're back to the original motion. <laughs> <laughs> Roll call, please. Trustee Wells. Aye. Trustee Siddig. An enthusiastic aye. Trustee Otterson. Just a normal aye. <laughs> Trustee Gus. Aye. Trustee Miller. Double aye. Trustee Jensen. I'll abstain. <laughs> abstain. I don't have a column for that. I, I Our regular clerk does. <laughs> I mean, he just puts a big red A yeah. on there. And the, uh, the red I A. Got a red, the, I have the recorded scarlet thing. letter. Uh, Mayor, that concludes my report. I don't know the date of our next meeting, but it's toward the end of next month. Or this month, sorry. This month. All right. Um, Parks and Rec, Trustee Gust. No report, Mr. Honor. No report. All right. Planning, zoning, building, zoning, planning. No report. Ones. No report, Your Honor. All right. Public Relations and Intergovernmental Committee. Thank you. Uh, I would like to give a compliment to the Lake County Forest Preserve District. And um, they have been doing some wonderful work over in Lions Woods. Anybody that gets a chance to go over to Lions Woods, take a look, um, especially on the east side of North Avenue, which actually has been a little bit neglected over the years, but they have, they have um, widened the path. They have put down compacted sand. They've done ditching. They've put in new culverts. And it's, it's wonderful. It's just a real pleasure to to walk in there to ride the bikes, and I'm, I'm happy to see it. I called them and personally expressed my appreciation, and it's nice to see taxpayer dollars going to work in the forest preserve. Not just certain forest preserves, but the, 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 one, the one near to, us. The one near <laughs> us, yes. So thank you to the Lake County Forest Preserve District. All right. And that's all I have. Good. Okay, uh, Public Safety Committee. Uh, thank you. Um, couple of things they want to do. The sheriff's office have anything? <clears throat> Any updates? Press releases? Yeah. You can figure out what's uh, Good evening. Um, the uh, so came up with the uh, two different shootings off of Prairie Bird Street and just wanted to give an update that I talked with Mr. Huber the other day and what I'm able to release at this point is um, so far, the shootings on 33rd have not been random. It is a targeted um, family, a targeted person within that family. Is, is it not? Um, it, it's, it is a targeted family, a targeted person. Um, they also match the same potential shooters or offending gangs, um, are also involved in some shootings in Zion and Waukegan. Same kind of MO, same kind of calibers that are being used. Um, there is some video that came out of our last shooting event, and a little bit of, or not a little bit, but quite a bit of evidence was collected and is being sent to the crime lab for uh, both forensic and hopefully some fingerprints. With the warmer weather, people aren't necessarily wearing gloves. And our criminal investigation division will be meeting with detectives from Zion and Waukegan to try to um, start working on if they have, again, I don't know if they've identified potential offenders. Uh, there are some potential vehicles, not necessarily license plates, but that they are on the lookout for. Um, whether they're going to start setting up surveillance on those vehicles or those uh, potential offenders. I don't have that information at this time, but I also uh, let Mr. Huber know as soon as we're able to get some good descriptions and things that we could put out as in, a, in a press release for the village to put out to the residents to be on the lookout for these kind of vehicles or these suspects or this kind of activity, we will get that out as soon as possible. And then the last little thing that I have, that I spoke briefly with uh, Trustee Siddig before the meeting. Uh, on May 5th, we did have the uh, meeting with IDOT and with Senator Bush. Uh, I thought it was very productive. And as soon as I can get uh, some of the numbers that we were able to compile for that meeting, um, I was able to get 
uh, permission to release that to the village so we can get that to Senator Bush. So I will get that in a, a small enough format, in a readable format, um, to get those numbers out for as far as uh, traffic crash data, traffic um, stop data, complaints, and that kind of stuff. So uh, overall, I thought it was a very productive meeting, and I am open for any other questions. Thank you very much, and I'm glad that we spoke about this because it's been a concern of mine. Um, but I also wanted to mention, I mean, how are things on Sheridan Road in the last couple of weeks? I mean, I know we have a sheriff's contract that's um, coming up and things like that for renewal. And, you know, I'm familiar with uh, quite a few employees that have recently retired, and I'm not certain that, you know, okay. new hires. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of busy right now. Can I call you back a little bit? Have um, okay, thanks. have been down to PTI. I don't know if new officers are being recruited during these times. I don't know. I personally don't know anyone who would like to have that position right now. But these are just concerns, and I just want to make sure that our contract needs are met, um, and the sheriff's office not being short-staffed, and not being able to handle um, any of the concerns that we have, not only on Sheridan Road, but the other issues um, that you had just mentioned. So. Um, so well, we obviously we have our shift minimums, mm -hmm. and we we always fulfill our minimums. I don't know of any shift that we've come up short where we haven't had our district minimums and or our contract contractual agreements filled with deputies. Um, any recent activity, and I'm going to knock on some wood here. Um, we haven't had any major crashes or any significant activity on Sheridan Road that I'm aware of um, recently. Uh, as far as um, some of the traffic uh, data that I, could, that I will provide, obviously I'll make sure that uh, you, you get that data as well, Trustee Siddick. And if you have any questions beyond what's in that, obviously I'll try to answer what I can. As far as staffing, that's a uh, United States wide problem. Coast to coast. Um, yes, and we have uh, three people or three deputies right now that are coming out to training next week. Fresh out of PTI, we have one more. He's waiting to get state certified. He came over from Colorado, so he's got to take the test. And then we have, I think, I want to say we have two in PTI right now. So, unfortunately, as people that are long in the tooth like myself are getting there um, in our time here, I know I'm only in some, but um, my time here will be hopefully next year where I'll be leaving. But there's a bunch that were in my class that were hired within that 2000. One through two thousand and six ish, mm -hmm. we're all going to have age and time, so that's going to sure. be a, a difficult thing. Just like what happened with the class of eighty six, eighty seven, eighty eight, they're all gone. Yeah. Right. But there was a third of our department that was hired in those three years, and now they're all retired. So, right. similar thing looking to happen up in the next few years. So, yep. mm -hmm. yes. I was at a conference recently, and they referred to this as the silver tsunami. <laughs> all of the. Uh, People with similar hair color to mine that are <laughs> those who have hair blowing left. out the door. <laughs> so it's a it's a common problem. Wasn't there a bad crash on Sheridan Road last night about 7 p.m. Um, right in front of uh, like right at almost at the intersection of Beach and Sheridan? There was we went by. There was a fire truck there and. Yeah. Well, it, when, I can't speak for how, the, how, how fire responds, but when fire responds, they respond a whole lot different than we do. Mm -hmm. They like to block roads and everything else for safety um, and then mounting of equipment. There was nothing that came out in the unusual as oh. far as anything significant with that crash. We obviously did have two other significant crashes last night, but not, yeah. um, not in the village, just south of the village, which was at 515 this morning, which I wasn't on yeah, that scene, that's but one. that was horrific this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there was an uh, 18-year-old killed in Wakanda last night, unfortunately. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. I just, you know, I heard something in the the number, the ballpark figure of um, down 40, possibly 50 employees at the sheriff's office. So, you know, I've yet to confirm that number. <clears throat> But um, thank you for all that you do. We really do appreciate that. Um, I can pass something on to uh, Deputy Chief Cavelli and see if he could get some numbers or get approval for however they want to put numbers out. Again, I, it's not something I'm approved to be able to put out, but I can, sure. no, I can put that, that, that question to him to see if he can reach out and get that to you. You mentioned Colorado. Do you recruit nationwide? A lot of them are transfers from, may have a spouse that's in the Navy or oh. Army or some sort of armed forces that are relocating to the area. Uh -huh. So as they come, and a lot of times those are their, their last transfer, especially for the Navy, to the RTC command here. It's their last duty station. or mm -hmm. And so 
they're not looking to leave the area because a lot of times they're looking at being contracted through the Navy to continue employment after retirement. So their spouses come with them, and a lot of them are prior police, so they're looking for a, a law Very enforcement nice. job. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Nick concludes my report. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, Public Works Committee, Trustee Adams. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I can uh, report with some level of confidence after the uh, temperatures we've had this week. I can assure everyone that the plows are taken off the trucks and uh, we should not be dealing with any more snow events uh, for the year. That's, I didn't say 100%, but I'm, I'm pretty confident. Um, uh, the, only, the, the only thing I have on the agenda is about a, a right-of-way vacation at 3887 8 Sheridan Road. Um, we've discussed this one, um, I believe, more than once at the, the, uh, the Public Works uh, Committee meeting. Um, this is a right-of-way that's it's an unimproved right-of-way. There's no intention of the road ever going through since there's a swamp uh, that would have to be have a bridge over it uh, to, to use it. Uh, this particular building has been using the uh, unimproved right-of-way as a driveway for quite some time, so this is cleaning that up. They're um, purchasing the right-of-way from the village. Uh, they had an appraisal done, and uh, we agreed on uh, the... Uh, dollar amount in their uh, appraisal that they had done so I believe that amount is ten thousand dollars even uh, yeah ten thousand uh, dollars and that's uh, so I guess I'll uh, make a motion to approve uh, the right-of-way vacation uh, at 38878 North Sheridan Road uh, pending payment uh, and uh, paperwork being completed I'll second it we have a motion by Trustee Addison, second by Trustee Gust. Uh, there is a revised version of this with, um, my understanding, uh, oh. the corrections have to do with the uh, state citation of the uh, state code, I should say, uh, state uh, statutes, as well as legal description for the parcel itself, or is it the adjoining parcel? The adjoining. It was the adjoining, adjoining parcel. parcel. Okay. So, um, uh, Again, doesn't materially change what it is we're doing here, but it is, um, we have, I have a copy of the amended uh, ordinance here. Um, and you have it, we don't? No, correct. And, Andrew emailed that. It's, it was, yeah. It was emailed. I, I, I do, it. I apologize, I did get it, but I had made notes on the original one, yeah. and that's what I was reading off of. So it, what I would ask is if you would um, um, consider a copy of amending your motion to include the corrected or amended ordinance that was sent out that I have a copy of here. Okay, and that's, but that one's dated May 12. I don't know what the original one was. So does that make I a think difference? they're both dated May 12. May 12, right. Okay, so my I have a hard copy here if anybody, the, yeah. I have, and I have the substantive here. change, as the mayor said, it was only adding the description of the adjacent parcel that wasn't on the previous one. Right, and, and there were whereas clauses added where a finding was made by this board that this right-of-way is no longer needed for public use, mm. uh, and that's required under the state statute. Yeah. So I talked to Andrew about getting a, a uniform vacation yeah. format ordinance put together. The one that we put into the packet, the revised ordinance, will serve as that. Okay. So, uh, so again, I, it, just the amendment recognizing that it's not the one that's in your package. I will amend my motion to uh, to uh, reflect the amended motion <laughs> or the amended ordinance that was uh, provided yesterday via email and not the one in the packet with no changes other than legal descriptions and some whereas is correct. Public the find the necessary findings. Necessary yeah. findings correct. is what I meant, not whereas. Does our seconder <laughs> amend the Yes. All right. We're back. Um, discussion. I'd just like to note the fact that not only once but twice we have identified the, the cost of this as $10,000 and zero hundreds dollars, both in words and numerals. <laughs> so we're are being very, very careful about that these days. Okay. Any other discussion? This has been a long time coming. This just is, about Don, not about yeah, this. This is this this particular parcel is a long time coming. Um, 
this I'm, I'm very happy to see this done um, and as it was stated that has basically been this house was built with probably a front driveway off of Sheridan Road and then Sheridan Road grew and they didn't have anywhere else to go so they've been using the the, vac the vacant right-of-way as their driveway uh, improperly but necessarily for this multifamily uh, property so all right uh, roll call please trustee Siddig aye trustee Otterson aye trustee Gust aye trustee Miller aye trustee Jensen aye and trustee Wells aye motion carries <coughs> All right. Anything further? No, that um, will be all. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to that. I feel all discombobulated. It's right the now. heat there. It's the heat. <laughs> it must be because Mary Jo's not sitting next to me. <laughs> By the way, I hope that I uh, should uh, express a little concern there. Apparently, she had a positive test, so we're waiting uh, for no symptoms. COVID, not COVID. not any other kind of test. Yeah, no. Okay. Just COVID. Okay. Yep. Only COVID. Oh, just Only. COVID. But, uh, yep, be careful of those. Uh, we had her chair sanitized and the microphone has been, <laughs> we ripped it out and burned it. <laughs> no. Um, we have no, uh, I have no report tonight from the Tax Increment Finance Committee as we have not met. Anything additional from staff reports? No, Mayor. Thank you. All right. Uh, we have no old business on the agenda. Is there any new business for the board tonight? Hearing none. We'll move on to citizens wishing to address the board. Sir, you're up. <laughs> yeah, it's a lonely place. Thank you for thanks for your patience. <laughs> Hi, my name's Gary Koffler. I live at 12738 West 27th Place. And I purchased uh, a right-of-way next to my house. You know, a neighbor bought his half, I bought mine. Um, previously to that, I ended up putting in a second driveway back in 2006. And I, I did the asphalt in a ways, and then I did gravel. And I only did the gravel so far because my septic field, I didn't want to go on top of that. Well, when I ended up buying this property, I cut down all them weeds and all them trees and made it pretty. And I added in some gravel. Well, evidently this has become, because it's now finally paid off, I did the payment mm. plan. Um, this has become an issue and I was told that I need to fill in from a certain area, I need to fill in with dirt and put grass over this gravel. <coughs> well, in the past I've had, you know, a trailer with my UTVs and stuff like that. And it's so close to the road that I ended up getting tagged by gangbangers. <laughs> so I moved it back a little ways, getting off the road, thinking it'd be a little safer for a vehicle or whatever. Well, I paid to have that gravel put in, and I didn't know there was a permit because in the beginning, um, Gene Gross, mm -hmm. he asked me, he says, you going to put gravel in there? I said, yeah. I was thinking about it, and he goes, we got some uh, grindings over at the Public Works if you want them for free. And I said, yeah. So he dropped them off. I raked them out, made it nice. And then when I cleared all that off, I added that in. And I'm just kind of like talking. I've talked with um, Mr. Jenkins here before on this issue, and he wants me to fill it in with dirt, which is no problem. But I got, finally got a hold of a landscaper, and it's going to cost me $1,000 to fill in this gravel with black dirt. And my neighbor... His driveway was always on the right-of-way from the minute they built that house. Mm -hmm. So he has parking areas. He has lots of vehicles there. He runs a daycare there. And I don't know. I'm just kind of like asking whether I can keep my gravel and keep $1,000 in my pocket. But if not, 
I'm not out to break any rules. Sure, sure. I will do it, but I just feel it's unnecessary being that we're supposed to be a village with a rural spirit. <laughs> and so I'm just asking if that's possible. And uh, I've asked um, the community service officer, Mark, I think his name is, I called him, left him a couple messages, and I wanted to know if there was an ordinance about gravel driveways. Because I looked up on the Beach Park website, other than a bunch of there as's and where fours <laughs> and, and here twos and this and that, I could not find anything. The, the reference would be probably as cryptic as the there as's and where fours. It's a basically, I spent three hours on a computer and I'm not a computer it guy. It refers to a, a uh, um, um, all weather dust free surface, I believe, which is. Um, uh, Pretty much engineering speak for concrete or asphalt, um, and that's it's something that uh, it, it's uh, it is there. Um, I'm aware of it. Um, you mentioned second driveway. Um, that is one. Uh, not that we don't have second driveways in Beach Park. There are certainly are. We have a lot of hills in Beach Park that have <laughs> we inherited a bunch of them um, from you know prior to 1989, and we certainly. Uh, have had various levels of enforcement of our ordinances uh, in the days since. Um, and apparently uh, generous uh, public works um, delivery services. <laughs> uh, all that to say that um, I think, uh, Andrew, I don't know if you, first of all, there, appreciate you coming and, and expressing yeah. your concerns. Second of all, we, we're not going to solve anything tonight because yeah, I didn't it's, think so. I it's just not something to, that we're, we're... I wanted to bring it up. Yep. Um, I left a voicemail for you and I never heard back, so I... I, I apologize for that. Well, I, that's fine. I, I mean, you're a busy those, guy. <laughs> I usually get those straight to my phone, so, so I apologize for that. I'm, I'm one of those guys I like to go face-to-face, -face, <laughs> yep. you know, because, yep. you know, I'm not out to do nothing. I don't know. It just having this having my little trailer yeah. back a little ways is kind of nice that yeah. it's off of the road because there's a lot of kids out there at night and God knows what they're going to do. They've broken into some cars by us yeah. in the past. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Well, you have to say it looks very nice from the aerial exactly. view here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in fact, it's better than what. In it, fact, I I went around just this. just right. quickly. And I found, I found two properties that one of them has a second driveway, and it's on 29th Street. Mm -hmm. And actually, the second driveway is on Glendale. Mm. And I don't know if you know that property. It's like kind of like right on the corner there, kind of. 29th and Glendale. Yeah, across from Republic Works, kind of. A little bit. Oh, far, far, yeah. Yeah. This is the, yeah, I know which one it is. On the west side yeah, of the far, road, far a little bit road. south yeah. from Public yeah. Works. Mm -hmm. Well, they got a second driveway in there, and I'm telling you what. Yeah. He's got about ten times more gravel in his second driveway than I do. Yep. And he's got temporary buildings up. And and then I took a picture of a, another one here, a camper next to a, that looks pretty dangerous to me, but it's like four foot of gravel. He's got a camper on top of it, if you guys want to see him. <laughs> oh, good. Where, where pray tell is that one? <laughs> it's on Waldo. Oh, good. Just for leveling purposes. I yeah. Think. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And mine All looks, right. I try to keep my stuff nice. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Nice camper. I probably got one of the better. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah, pat myself on the back too hard, but you know, I, I keep up my stuff pretty good. Yeah. Well, so first of all, appreciate you coming and, and talking with us mm -hmm. tonight. As you can see, we don't get a lot of visitors. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did my, I? I hope I didn't ruin your uh, no, mojo no. here. <laughs> my my wife is at a uh, at a uh, um, a band concert band concert tonight, so she wasn't able to be here. Otherwise, you'd be sitting back there talking with her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But, about uh, him <laughs> we will uh, i will address this with staff and talk a little bit more about it and just see if you know where okay. we are and because you know like i said i already got a whole landscaper yep. but you know they're busy yep it's, oh yeah this is our time of the year you know yep and when this came about you know 
I just, yep. I finally got a hold of one that can do it, but yep. God knows when he used to maybe two, three weeks. Yep, and that, that's a moving. Two, and that's paying them $1,000 cash. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right. Well, Gary, thank you for coming in today. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, no problem. Thank you guys you. take care. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, I asked if there was anybody else, but he just left. There's nobody left. Sorry, <laughs> Phil, you already talked. Um, all right. Well, then we have no cause tonight for an executive session. Mayor. Yes. I'd like to offer a motion to adjourn. We have a motion. Do Mayor. We have, we have a second by Siddick. Do we have a second by Siddick? <laughs> all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a, an electrical issue. To, oh, nice. I know something about those at 2 o'clock today.